I'm Edward McCain, father of Tavish. Hi, I'm Rosemary McCain and also mother of Tavish. I think we were really excited to tell our story about our experience with Easter Seals and the training that we received. And I think we were excited because it was successful. And it was the first time that we actually started to see some hope in our journey with Tavish. And, and just to kind of recount, Tavish at the time was still going through a lot of physical temper tantrums, throwing things, um, screaming, on the floor, frustration. And we were kind of at our wits end. So looking back, I can say most definitely that our training through Easter Seals was a turning point in our lives as a family. Some of the services that we received were just simply respite care, just being able to drop Tavish off in an environment where we knew they knew him and they knew what his issues were, um, offered a real safety net for us to just take a break and have some time to ourselves to kind of recap and just have some relaxation. Some of the other services that we did were some of the social groups, the social skills groups that he was in. And then of course the, the applied behavior analysis training, the ABA training was key. ABA, I think, helped us turn things around and made us feel like we had some tools uh, at our disposal to work in the right direction with Tavish. I felt a bit lost and um, the training was empowering as a parent. He is 13 now and so with that comes what a lot of 13 year olds are like which is he's the expert now and we're not. Uh, my name is Tavish and I like to play video games and I have a cat and the perfect day is would be I get up and I have a nice breakfast and my parents would not harass me for the rest of the day and I would get to do what I like like to do for most of the day. For me a miracle moment with Tavish was just when the light bulb clicked in his head when he realized he didn't have to throw a major tantrum to be able to communicate with us, that he could talk to us. And once he realized that he had that skill, that he could negotiate with us, that he could respectfully argue with us, that he had some power with words instead of throwing or hitting or screaming, that was like a big deal for all of us. It was really exciting. And I think another miracle moment for me was seeing him make friends, which was something that he struggled with. And in through Easter Seals help, especially through the peers group and some of the other social skills groups, he learned sort of the rules of the road on how you respond to other people and how you can engage in a conversation and we were so thrilled when middle school started and he sat in the lunchroom and he had friends with him sitting next to him because of your generosity the people who give to Easter sales you help create an atmosphere an environment a community where children who are might be a little bit different and might need a little bit more help can really thrive. They can become the kinds of citizens, the kinds of contributors in our world that we need. They can become leaders. They can take these unique skill sets and talents and flourish for the betterment of all of us. And I think about it's a small investment with a really big return. And I would say because of people's generosity that families can overcome some difficulties and you can you can really flourish I mean you can change the trajectory of lives 